you find the same vehicle or a similar vehicle if it's used and it's priced lower than ours and it comes with the same benefits that we provide, James, all you do is show us that ad and we cut you a check back for the difference. Just like that. Now, has any dealer ever told you that before, James? I've been told it, but I've never seen it in writing. Okay, it's in writing. James, let's do this. Job one is to make sure that the vehicle's right, because there's no such thing as a good deal on the wrong car or truck, correct? Correct, I agree. Let's go have some fun. You are about to experience the fastest and most pleasant purchase process of your entire life. Follow me. Okay. I, I, I just change yours just slightly. Yep. Just slightly. I'm going to tell you, leave it on for a second. If we can learn that. We'll... You can learn that. Okay, but each of you will do it slightly differently. And, and remember what I've said up for three days. I, I don't want you to sell like me. I want you to sell like Woody. I want you to sell like Gary. I want you to sell like Robbie. You, you guys are plenty good enough already, um, personality-wise. We just need to increase the power of our communication with the consumer. And, and with this particular one, and I'm going to give you and you the chance to try it in just a second. If you start off the conversation with when was the last time you bought a car, it, it, everything sort of naturally flows from right there. And you don't want to deviate too much. Some of the people this morning said, well, when was the last time you bought a car? Just give me a minute. Five or six years ago. How was the experience? That is too broad a question, okay? Well, now that you mentioned, shit, I love that girl I bought the car from. The dealership was super. I got to go. <laughs> we don't want to ask them about the experience. No telling where the customer will go. Did you have to negotiate? Because what's the purpose of the conversation I just had with James? To educate. No, well, yeah, but what's, the, what's my purpose? Well, there's no, no negotiating. My purpose is to lessen his genetic need to negotiate with me. Okay? Can I get everybody not to negotiate? No. Can I lessen? I can get some. Can I get, I can get another group to lessen the severity of their negotiation. And here's, how, here's how it works an hour and a half later. Okay? So I'll need your okay right there. Just say, well, Steve, I, you haven't discounted it from the internet price. Well, Steve, there's no discount here at all from the internet price. Um, well, James, I, I appreciate that. And quite frankly, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. You're doing exactly what you've always done when you bought a car. But remember we had this talk about an hour ago. Yes, there is a discount. All right? Remember, you came in on a pre-discounted price, right? Right. Okay. Now, I promised you two things an hour and a half ago. I promised you this would be a pleasant purchase experience. How's it been so far? Pretty good. And I promised you it would be the fastest purchase experience of your life, correct? Yep. James, you're slowing me down. I need an okay right there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I'm telling you, that's the, sec that's the second close I use every time. Does everybody hook shit? No. But you'd be amazed at the number Nobody ones that look at you and go, sure. you're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> that's what we want to do. And, and, and am I being confrontational? No. No. Confident. Look, the, uh, confident, yes. The more fun we have with our customers, the more gross we make, the more deliveries we create. This is a hard job. Especially